Well, before we go, three lessons to go home with, okay? Why does God have all this stuff? Does it scare us to death? I thought we weren't going to be here. Why should we even care? Because God wants to show us three things. Number one, God cares. God is genuinely interested in this world, its needs, its inhabitants, now as well in the future. It says in Hebrews 4, 14, 15, and 16 that he cares, and he wants us to come to his throne of mercy to find help in time of need. In fact, the plan of salvation in, Revela- or in Romans 10 that says, whoever calls in the name of the Lord, that verse is right out of the minor prophets, right out of the time of tribulation, and to the end... God is saying to all those people that are getting mowed down and squashed and melted and, and you know, everything that's happening to them, it says, if any of them will call in the name of the Lord, they'll be saved. But they won't. Even when the whole world is falling apart, the hardened, sin-darkened hearts say, no, anything but you, God. You say, oh, that's foolish. Watch out. That's what sin does to you. You play with sin, it hardens your heart. Until you can have God pulling the carpet out from you and you say, no. Number two, not only does God care, God controls. God has not lost control. He is sovereign. He's working things together for good, even now as well as in the future. So the Lord knows where all ten of the enrichment sites are in Iran. If he wants the Israelis to bomb them, they will. If he wants America to bomb them, they will. And if he doesn't want them to, they won't. He's in control. He raises up even presidents, governors. He even controls city council decisions and and town ordinances and everything else. He's in control. Now, we have our part, but he has not lost control yet and never will. And finally, what's amazing is the God who cares, the God who controls, is the God who communicates. The God we serve is not a God of silence. He does not want to leave us in the dark. He lets us know what's going to happen down to some very minute details. And if you will say to him, Open my eyes that I can behold wonderful things out of your truth. He'll open your eyes and let you see him in his word. I hope you make place in your schedule for the Lord. 